What's going on guys and welcome to another weekly news recap of the 49ers. Obviously training camp is finally on the way. The first preseason game was last night which I stayed away to watch a bit of it. I couldn't stay away the whole night but I watched some of it and uh, yeah it's good to have football back on the TV. Um, obviously with regards to the 49ers we're going to start off with what happened last, uh, towards the end of last week because when I uploaded last week's video sure enough news broke uh, and that's what I'm going to start this video off with. So obviously uh, the news was that Solomon Thomas signed his four year deal. Which I made up about uh, right on right as training camp started. So uh, well done, John Lynch. But let's get on with the day, what's been going on for the rest of the week, and let's start off with the wide receivers. According to the Sacramento Bee, Pierre Garçon and Marcus Goodwin are clearly the 49ers' top two wide outs at training camp. Uh, yeah, I can see that too. Goodwin's been well, obviously, obviously, we all know about uh, Marcus Goodwin's flat out speed, so that's not a surprise. Pierre Garçon obviously is a veteran in this league, uh, so yeah, that's not a surprise. The slot's going to be interesting. Uh, Trent Taylor, from some of the clips I've seen, has been making some really good catches, so um, Trent has a really good uh, opportunity to maybe uh, seal that slot wide receiver position. Uh, Aldrich Robinson has been a bit of a letdown from what I've been hearing. He's been flashing here and there, but hasn't been consistent. So, um, yeah, Marcus Goodwin, Pierre Garçon, I'm happy with those two, uh, especially going forward. Obviously, Jeremy Curley seems to be getting buried somewhere in this depth chart, uh, which I'm not happy about, because like I stated in the previous video, um, you know, I don't like players who were obviously here when the going was tough, who are still here and then just instantly getting pushed to the back. You know, Curley was one of our very few bright spots last season, so... I hope Kelly still gets his fair, his fair share of reps and playing time because he definitely deserves that. But yeah, Goodwin and Garson, and I'm happy. I'm happy with that. Uh, Matt Miyoko says rookie running back Joe Williams has gotten off to a slow start at 40, at 49ers camp. I'm not surprised. I've not heard hardly anything about Joe Williams considering all the hype leading up to camp. So um, yeah, it's, it's quite a shame to hear that because. I, you know, obviously with the talk of Carlos Hyde possibly losing his job, with Tim with Tim Hightower coming in, and obviously Joe Williams, um, you know, it, it, it's a shame to hear. But uh, at the same time, he is the rookie, so it's expected. Also, Carlos Hyde appears to be set as the 49 starting on the back. Yeah, of course he does because it's his job at the end of the day. He's not going to lose it. Uh, at least he shouldn't lose it. Um, you know, it, it was his job to lose. Tim Hightower, I don't, I don't, I didn't think was going to push him forward. Joe Williams was probably the only, was probably the only threat to his starting job. But obviously, with the stories of Joe Williams going to a slow start and Carlos Hyde turning up to camp in great condition, and apparently he's been pancaking defenders left, right, and centre. So yeah, Carlos Hyde is, is is probably going to be our starting run, running back going into the season, and that's not a surprise considering he was our starting running back last season. And lastly, linebacker Eli Harold is week to week with concussion. Uh, I, I mean, I kind of wanted Eli to be a starter on that defense because he, he he's very much of a hybrid player. I think he's good at rushing the passer and he's athletic enough in coverage. Um, I think it was between him and him and um, Amar Brooks for a starting job, and I kind of wanted Eli Harold over Brooks, but with obviously Eli dealing with this concussion, uh, it looks like it's going to be Brooks. Uh, Brooks for the taken and I think Eli, I think this might be Eli's last season with the 49ers if he doesn't produce something. Uh, I can see him going after this year if I'm honest with you. Uh, so yeah, we'll see what happens there. Right guys, and that's it for this video. Did I leave anything? I'll be sure to leave a comment below. Uh, just before I go, I just wanted to say um, I might not be doing any more videos going forward. Uh, right now, I'm kind of finding it hard to keep to stay motivated to do these videos. Don't get me wrong, obviously I, I still love watching the 49ers. still love reading about it and finding out what's going on. Uh, but right now my motivation to, to vlog, basically just relay the news to what to you, what people already... I mean, let's face it, most of what I've just said there, you probably already know about. So I just kind of, I don't know, I just it's finding something to talk about that you guys don't know about. And I, I don't know, like I said, I don't know if I'm wasting my time doing these videos. So uh, maybe me motiv I just feel like my motivation to do it to do these videos is kind of going a bit, but um, I, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do going forward after this video. I may do another one next week. I don't know. But guys, if you guys can give me any feedback as to whether or not I should keep doing this or or, or not, uh, yeah, just just give me any feedback and I'll and I'll take it on board. Um, but yeah, guys, hopefully this video did help uh, and. 
I should maybe, maybe or maybe not see you next week for the next weekly update. But can't wait for the preseason to start. Uh, obviously, it started last night, but for the 49ers, of course. And uh, yeah, just cannot wait for the season to begin. So, guys, from me, thank you for watching. Uh, this may or may not be the last time, but guys, thank you, and I'll see you whenever.